Hey, what's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the menu button control in JavaFX. So the JavaFX menu button control looks like a button and behaves like a menu. For example, and uh, let's assume that you have a menu button in your application and when the user clicks the menu button, it will display or pop up a menu item to click the menu item. So without further explanations, let's get started. Open your uh, IDE and let's make the code, obviously. <laughs> All right, so here I am going to use the VVAX layout to make our layout. And let's import the layout. And let's create the scene graph. Scene. Okay, and let's pass in the variable root and let's declare the window size, let's say 400 by 400 and import the scene and let's call the stage and set the scene. All right, and stage that set title. Under standing menu button and stage that show. All right. So what I'm going to do next is to create the menu uh, menu button. Let's type in the menu button and we'll name our variable to uh, menu menu button mb how about that mb close new menu button and let's name our menu button to click Click me to see the items. Okay, how about that? And let's import the control. Let's add some menu items. Let's type in the menu items. Yep, menu item. Item one. Close new menu item and name our item as how about Google and import the menu item. Let's make sure you select the JavaFX scene. Menu item. Item two, what? <laughs> All right, and this one is for bang. Another one for Yahoo. Duck, duck, go. Is that the right one? Okay. And let's add our menu item to the menu button. MB that get items that add all. Let's start from item item one. Item one, 
item two, item three, and item four. All right. And before we run our application, let's make sure we added the menu item to our VBAX layout. So let's call the root that get children and add node MB. So let's try to run our application to see what that looks like. All right, this is it. And as you can see that our menu button is in the upper right, I mean upper left corner. And if we click the menu item, the pop-up menu will show up here. The items are the Google, Bang, Yahoo, and DuckDuckGo. And let's run this again later. So let's modify some codes here. I mean, let's add some codes here to make our application more better. So let's, I'm going to align the position to the center of the earth. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to call the root and let's set the alignment property. Alignment position to center and let's add some label for our uh, I mean let's add some label if we are going to click the menu item it will display the message or it's well it will display the Google Bing, or Yahoo whatsoever so I'm going to add the label here what well, about here Okay, label LBL, close new label. Uh, click the, the item to see the result. To see the result. All right, and let's import the label. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is to add the label in our uh, layout. So I'm going to add a label here and let's add one more thing here. Okay. So next I'm going to do is to set the margin for our label and I'm going to use the VBOX and set margin node. Let's use the label node and let's set the end sets, end sets, end sets. New end sets. Let's try 10. And let's add some action event for our menu item. Let's go here. Item one that set an action. Let's use the lambda expression to make it easy. Event curly braces. And I'm going to copy this code. Two, three, four. This would be two three and four all right and if I'm going to click the menu item one the label will uh, I mean the Google will display on the label all right and what I'm going to do now is to call the label that set text and get the text item item one that get text and I'm going to copy this code paste it below all right and let's change the item 
items to three and four. Okay, and let's run our application again to see what that looks like. Here we go. Click me to see the to see the items, and click the item to see the result. Let's say if I'm going to click on Google, it will display the text at the label, and Bang, Yahoo, and that that go. So if you are going to use the Scene Builder to make this application right here, you can also use the Scene Builder. So I'm going to run the scene builder to demonstrate to you on how we can create this application in scene builder. <clears throat> All right. And let's try adding the V box. Oops. V box. Okay, and I'm going to add the menu button right here in the center and let's set the alignment to center. Okay, and let's add some label. Right, let's set the margin. How could I set the margin? Yep, 10. And let's rename the menu button to click, click me to what? What is that? Click me to, click me to see the items. Items and that's it. And click me to see the results. All right. So if I'm going to add the menu item, I can rename here to Google Bang and let's add some menu item menu 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 item all right unspecified action this would be yahoo so i think that's it and let's add some action event this will be item one and item one all right So what's next? Item two. Item two. Yep, I think that's it. Let's preview. Yep, something like that. If you don't know how to integrate this application in your program cancel you can do the you can use the fxml loader so i hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you in the next video